ragam to the good life. Oh. Welcome to the good life. The wait is over. Welcome to the good life. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to The Good Life with me, Eileen. We are here on Money Monday, and you know we're going to get your mind right after this long week of Katrina. We're going to kind of get back into the, the swing of things and kind of just, you know, kind of let's do it a little bit slowly. And today is Money Monday, so let's get our mind right, get our pockets right so we can all live the good life. You know, we like to start the first 15 minutes with um, discussing discussing um voting and what's going on with you know following the money and following the trail and things like that and it's really funny i was reading something in the where did i get this from hmm i got this from the new york times and they were discussing that there's two stories about why washington doesn't work one blames a corrupted process the other blames republicans Corrupted processes sorts point to the grotesque inequality that has developed within our political system an inequality that makes Congress right for capture by special interests by giving the funders of campaigns unprecedented power. Now, listen to this. This is the part. 400 families, the New York Times report. So let me point that out have given half of the money that's been raised in this election cycle so far. Let me repeat that for you. 400 families. The New York Times reports have given half the money that's been raised in this election cycle so far. 400. Like out of the millions and millions and millions of people in the United States of America. Kenneth, 400 families have given half the money that's been raised in this election cycle so far. So what does that tell you? That tells you a lot about what we talk about when it comes down to wealth mentality. I can guarantee you those 400 families are guaranteed to have some of the highest net worth in the world. Exactly. And, and what is what did my dad always teach us? And it's funny. Uh, I was talking to Telly about this because he's on a he's on a plane this morning. So that's why he's not with us. But follow the what? The money. That's follow right. the money. So if you have 400 families that are basically dictating our campaigns, what does that tell us? That they respect what, Kenneth? Our mind, mind and our money. And our money. Absolutely. That was one of the most powerful quotes I've ever heard. And it simplified it and summed it up. And now that we know that, now the work begins because now we're accountable. Because exactly. Because a long time, Eileen, we didn't know any better. Exactly. Exactly. We didn't know any better. And so if we don't have our if our money isn't correct, then we have our mind in our mind in in regards to elections is voting. That's our voice. So it, it's one of the two, because those 400 families, they still only have one vote. So if we vote as well, then our voice is heard. So that's why voting is so important. And I know y'all hear us talk about this all the time, but it really is important. I mean, once I read that that uh, that statistic, I was like, oh, my goodness. And we know these things. It's just not, you know, brought to light. But 400 families have given half of the money that's been raised in this election cycle so far. That's crazy. But the way that we balance that out and we even that out is with our vote. So that's why our vote is so important. And we have to follow the money. And the way to follow the money and to create our own money is through savings. So we have, um, I don't, if y'all have been following us through the Good Life Wealth Challenge, you know that August is our last month. So we finished the Good Life Wealth Challenge. So I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a wrap up. Um, This morning, because in our second segment, we're going to go into savings, really big savings and how we can save with Andu Plessis of Liberty Bank. And then at the end of the segment, Kenneth and I are going to talk about how to become a millionaire. So y'all want to stay tuned for that. But we really kind of want to get back into savings and follow the money because we need to follow. We follow our money in politics, but we need to follow our own money. Because that's how we are going to live the good life by having our own money. And number one, we have to pay ourselves first. Because saving money is one of those tasks that's so much easier said than done. Everybody knows it's smart to save money in the long run, but many of us still have difficulty doing it. And this was one of the one of our first shows, right, Kenneth? That's exactly right. Every action step we've been leading up to this and doing the recap today is just going to refresh everybody, kind of get you back on track. Because we all need to be put back on focus every now and then. 
I got to do it almost every day, refocus myself back onto the basics. And we have to refocus, especially, you know, everybody went through a lot last week. And so we're just kind of get our mind right. And getting our mind right is getting back to the basics. And the basics are saving. It's funny. My mom, um, we had a conversation with my son last night about saving. And he's 11. And so we want to, you know, teach him about saving and, you know, saving 20% and putting it on the side. And this is what you can do and watching your money grow. So, you know, we're starting him young. And we hope that everyone else does that with their children. And, you know, you don't have to wait till 11. Start when they're they're smaller than that. You know, he's had... Uh, you know, little allowances and things that he's had to work for. But now we're kind of getting really, really in the nitty gritty. He's in middle school. We want him to really, you know, see the money, follow it, you know, keep a budget and, you know, put it, put the pen to the paper because that's the good life. That's in creating these habits as children will only make them more responsible adults. So we all want to do that because saving money is how that we are going to create generational wealth. And paying yourself first is the easiest way to save money rather than spending it. Got to pay yourself first, Kenneth. Got to pay yourself first. Well, one of the key components, too, when you pay yourself first, you can't pay yourself first to go blow it. That's oh. one of the things. Because I know some people that's good about taking care of themselves. They definitely going to pay themselves, but then they want to treat <laughs> themselves right after. Paying yourself <laughs> so and sure treating yourself. <laughs> so, so you're <laughs> saying paying yourself and treating yourself are two different things. <laughs> That's right. Right. Okay. We're talking about paying yourself. We're not talking about treating yourself to new Jordans because Jordans is <laughs> as not generational wealth. You cannot pass those Jordans down. Absolutely. Absolutely. We want to make sure we clarify that. I got a couple of listeners that will take my words and a couple of my clients, too, that take what I tell them and kind of put their own spin on it. <laughs> ah, so you know, you know, you've uh, had people try to give you the tricks of the trade. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm excited because – to go to the whole well challenge, there's a lot of people that have benefited from everything we talked about, uh, Eileen, and people have implemented, and we've seen significant changes in their lives financially. So to be able to recap today about those basics of, of saving, putting money away, but also following um, where the money is going. And if 400 families have that kind of impact. Right. I want to be one of those 400, don't y'all? <laughs> absolutely. And what's the difference? Most of those people are not. Uh, second and third generation wealth. Most people that become wealthy are first generation. Mm -hmm. They started off with very very humble beginnings. So it's a lot of people, and not only people in um, big name communities, but some some are people that we know from New Orleans, like Master P. Uh, Look at NWA and some of the things that all they were able to create with the movie and things like that. We have a lot of people who've been able to create things here. Right, right. And so one of the next steps into savings is one of those things that we all have a problem with. And it's funny, it's it's kind of what you said about, you know, paying yourself and treating yourself. Avoid accumulating new debt. But that's so hard sometimes. (laughs) You know, some (laughs) debt is essentially unavoidable. But, you know, we don't have to go create new debt. And, you know, and sometimes, you know, when we treat ourselves, we start accumulating new debt. Oh, well, you know, it was just this or it was just that. But that and this add up. Absolutely. And just like it it, in reverse as well, when it comes down to finding ways to save and finding ways to actually cut costs. For example, we talked about cell phones in one of our action steps. Uh, I might need Verizon. Yeah, it's cool. They have the latest, greatest phone. That's great. But if I can save money by going with Metro PCS or uh, uh, Cricket or one of the things carriers that are the prepaid phone mm-hmm. for a lot less money that's using the same towers of these major carriers to be able to use a cell phone signal, why wouldn't I save that money? Right. Right. That's true because nobody's walking around saying when you have your phone to your, uh, which carrier are you? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. I haven't had anyone ask me that question yet, so we shall see. Um, the next one of our next uh, points was setting reasonable savings goals and setting reasonable goals in general and actually putting the pen to the paper. I remember you said that was so important, making sure you write things down, because when you write things down, it's you're more apt to actually accomplish them. Absolutely. And it takes work. Let's, let's make sure we iterate that because it's not easy. It is not easy to be consistent and make a plan. It takes time. It takes work. It takes consistency. So being able to put it in writing, and sometimes you got to adjust the plan, but make sure you have it where it's written somewhere that you see it on a daily basis. One of the things that I, I recommend doing is having your goals um, in your bathroom mirror because you're there first thing in the morning generally, so you can kind of see them first thing in the morning, a lot of times last thing at night. So I would have a copy of that mirror. The other place I would have it is in my planner or whatever I kind of utilize every day for my calendar schedule 
to have a copy of it with me throughout the course of the day because sometimes I may need to adjust the, the calendar, but also subconsciously I need to be able to gravitate towards those goals by uh, seeing it throughout the course of the day. Oh, gosh. I know when we go over these things, it's just things that I remember for myself that I was like, oh, yeah, I could do that again. Oh, yeah, I could do that again. <laughs> but, yeah, but just like you said, putting it, making it visuals, everybody is a different type of learner. Everybody does things differently. But sometimes, you know, seeing it on a regular basis and being reminded of it and it, you know, it, it snaps for you. You're like, oh, yeah, let me do that, especially this one, Kenneth, because I am not I am by no means really good at this. And so that's why this wealth challenge with you has been very, very essential for me, keeping a budget and recording my expenses that has been the one of the biggest things for me just to try to keep up with it and you know it's easy to commit to you know random savings goals but keeping track of your expenses and actually writing them down is is huge because keeping a tight budget is a must for anyone who's looking to save money and even if it's ten dollars a week that ten dollars adds up over the course of time so you know doing something little and changing little habits can really create a big difference that habit is the most important part the dollar amount is not as important. It's very important, but it's not as important as creating that habit. Uh, you're right on the money with that, Eileen. Uh, of course, everybody want to put ten thousand away uh, every week. But oh, me too. Start off with ten dollars <laughs> or one dollar because when the habits there, that habit form, whether it's good or bad habits, they're consistent. So forming good habits is one of the most powerful things that we can actually do. And uh, some experts say it takes uh, 21 days. Some people say 30 days. But regardless, 21 or 30, uh, take that day one and say, I'm going to, for the next 21 or 30 days, I'm going to be consistent in these particular areas, $5 every paycheck, $10 every paycheck, uh, 10% of my check. Whatever it may be, create that habit. And here's the thing. I know we were talking about um, I brought up. Aiden and, you know, teaching him to save as early as possible. But we, we really need to start as early as possible. And even if it's today compared to tomorrow, start today and put $10 aside or whatever it may be. Starting to save as early as possible makes a difference because it adds up. And once you put that money in different types of accounts, you know, over five years, you may earn this amount. But, a, you know, over 10 years, you earn, earn this. So starting at 25 compared to 30 can really make a big difference and starting at 30 compared to 35 can make a big difference. So start wherever you are, because if you start five years down the road, that's five years of interest that you could have had, right? Absolutely. The earlier, the better. But even if you start a little bit late, it's still never too late. As long as you right. have breath in your body, uh, you have a fresh start, fresh opportunity. Every time I wake up, I'm like, you know, I can do it all over and, and, and still win and go big and still work on my goals. So um, for those people that can get the opportunity while you're younger, Jump on it, but no matter where you are, start today and uh, take advantage of it. What do you think about the? Um, I know we're, we're kind of hitting different points throughout, you know, the wealth challenge. But um, cons- um, what do you think about con- uh, uh, contributing to retirement accounts? How important is that as young as possible? Very, very important. At the beginning, when you're a little bit younger, sometimes you you may feel like I got all plenty of time to kind of get that done. <laughs> right. At least start with something because. It, time moves. I, I looked at I was creeps up on you. with my son uh, the other day, and I remember I had an A in algebra. Two. I was really good at it because uh, I'm a numbers guy. But that was 22 years ago when I took algebra two. I could remember what X meant in the in the equation. So 22 years have passed that quick since my junior year in high school. So if you start off with just a little bit while you're young in a long term retirement, you you'll win. You'll win long term. Oh, my goodness. I'm just thinking about all these saving things and everything that we've gone through. And if you all are interested in talking to Kenneth, because he is the man with the plan, Kenneth, how can they contact you? Because I know we did this six-month challenge, but sometimes people really need that one-on-one time. And I know having that one-on-one time with you was a really big help for me. And so I want to offer that to our listeners. So if they want to contact you so they can, you know, create generational wealth and they can live the good life, how can they contact you? Absolutely. It's 504 577 Three nine. That's five zero four five seven seven four one three nine. 
And I want to tell people, you know, don't get, don't get discouraged. You know, sometimes, you know, we're robbing Peter, Peter to pay Paul. We're living from paycheck to paycheck. But we want to do give you little simple things that, you know, can get you out of those situations. And even when you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, there is. Sometimes you just have to have a little faith and ask for help because sometimes, you know, we, everybody doesn't know everything. So you really just need to, you know, not get discouraged. And when you're having trouble saving money, it's easy to lose your nerve. You know, your situation sometimes seems hopeless and it seems also, almost impossible possible to save up the money you need to meet your long-term goals. However, no matter how little you're starting with, it's always possible to begin saving money. The sooner you start, the sooner you can be on your way to financial security. And so that's what it's all about. It's about just creating the habits like Kenneth said, and so we can all live the good life. So we are going to take a quick break, but when we get back, we're going to have Ann Duplessis of Liberty Bank on the line, and we're going to discuss how we can put our money in the bank to grow. And then our segment after that, we're going to get back on the line with Kenneth, and we're going to talk about how we can become a millionaire, because Kenneth, that's a good life, right? That's exactly right. Because that's what I, that's where I'm going with this. you got to think big, ask, believe, receive, and I'm about to claim it. This is a good life, and we'll be right back on Money Monday. Hello, WBOK listeners. This is Chuck Perkins, your Uptown Renaissance man. Join me every Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to noon for the Midday Mashup. It's where we discuss everything from politics to poetry. Remember, the Midday Mashups every Monday through Thursday from 11 a.m. until noon on WBOK 1230 a.m., where it's real talk for real times. LNR Security provides the good life. They make their mark in the security arena by providing excellent security services for more than 35 years and are licensed in more than 13 states. LNR Security's team comes with a wealth of experience from the military, law enforcement, and law enforcement training. Their personnel is comprised of more than 200 employees trained in video monitoring, special event services, convention services, armed and unarmed security guards, ticket takers, executive security, personal bodyguards, hall monitors, and critical infrastructure personnel that are TSA trained. LNR security services are provided on a 24-hour basis and have expanded to the newest technology, including video monitoring. Find them on the web at www.lrsecurity.com or call them today at 504-943-3191. Again, that number is 504-943-3191. Live the good life with LNR security today. Do you know anyone with less than perfect credit? At KB Enterprises, they specialize in restoring your score. Learn how to increase your credit score with 100% satisfaction guarantee. A-plus rating with the BBB, 10-year track record of removing negative items, including repossessions, foreclosures, bankruptcies, tax liens, student loans, and more. Kenneth Barnes and his team at KB Enterprises are excited about helping you restore your credit and achieving your financial goals. Whether it's acquiring a home or purchasing a car. Don't miss this opportunity to change your life forever. For more info, give them a call at 504-577-4139. Log on to www.kennethbarnes.org and be sure to tune into The Good Life on Money Mondays and get your financial tips for the week from Kenneth Barnes so you can live the good life too. You're on the move and so is your bank. Liberty Bank now offers you the power to manage your money from the palm of your hand with mobile banking with Liberty Bank. Whether you need to check balances, transfer money, or view transactions, mobile banking at Liberty Bank allows convenient and secure access to your money. Enroll today at www.LibertyBank.net and download our mobile app. You can mobile bank at Liberty Bank to keep the power in your hands. Liberty Bank. There's freedom here. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Are you tired of that squeaking door, those uneven steps, or that room you want painted? Have you been looking for that trustworthy contractor that is licensed and insured that can handle all of your residential construction needs? Well, look no further. Elite Southern Solutions can handle all your residential needs. There is no job too big or too small that Elite Southern Solutions can't complete to perfection. Call them at 504-756-7933. That's 504-756-7933. To add value to your home, to update your bathroom, add 
said much needed storage or finally remodel your kitchen. Elite Southern Solutions will take care of that water leak repair, those boards that need to be replaced after termite season. Call a contractor you can trust to get the job done right the first time. And that's Elite Southern Solutions. They are fully licensed and insured and will give you peace of mind. Call them today at 504-756-7933. That's 504-756-7933. That's Elite Southern Solutions, getting the job done right the first time. Listen now to WBOK Live on your computer. It's easy. Just go to www.wbok1230am.com and click the Listen Live button. WBOK 1230 AM. Real talk for real times. Welcome to the good life. Oh. Welcome to the good life. The wait is over. The wait is officially over. Welcome back to the good Welcome life with me, Eileen. We are here on Money Monday, and we are about to get our accounts in order, literally. I have Ian Duplessis on the line. Welcome, Ian, back to the good life. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Good morning to you. We have been talking about savings and following the money because we were talking about in the political campaigns that of, of all of the money that's been given so far in the larger campaigns, it's been given by 400 families. And all of our listeners would like to be one of those 400 families that have, you know, extra <laughs> money just to be given away to campaigns. You know, I want to be in that position so that, you know, I can make sure my community is well taken care of, just like they want to make sure that their community is well, well taken care of. So we want to build some generational wealth, and that's why we have Liberty Bank here. I want to thank you so much for being a partner in the Good Life Wealth Challenge because that is the good life. So thank you so much, Liberty Bank, and everything that you do. And how do we save money? Like, what is the deal? It's really hard sometimes, but I know Liberty Bank has so many different options for us. Yeah. You know, what are your well, thoughts on it? Well, you know, you're, you're absolutely right, Eileen. And for most of us, you know, being able to take, you know, a hundred dollars or a couple of hundred dollars or ten percent of our our salary on a on a consistent basis is, is really challenging at times. Right. And, and so, but but it has to happen. I think mm-hmm. you know. What we ought to look at are, are, are saving money in and using, I guess, a strategy or a plan. The first thing is if your employer has a 401K, mm. that is the best beginning, the first step in saving money uh, because actually in most cases that employer is paying you and matching what you're actually putting into that savings uh, plan. So mm. the first thing I'd like to say is if your employer has a 401K, participate. Participate at whatever level you can participate in, but do it. it, it may, you're leaving money on the table, actually. But but normally, you know, when uh, the other options uh, that the bank actually has that, that we could partic- particularly – uh, work with our, our customers on. Uh, there are many different, uh, uh, I guess, tranches uh, one could go into. The normal traditional savings account, of mm-hmm. course, um, is is where I would suggest customers start. Um, if, even if it's fifty fifty dollars a, a month, twenty five dollars a pay period, figure out what that amount is and begin putting, you know, creating a routine of putting those dollars into a, a regular savings account. So how um, is it? How easy is it to go into a Liberty Bank location? I know one of my favorites is on Canal. Uh, I have Maria over there, and I also shout out to Gretchen on Crowder. How easy is it to go into a bank and to open a savings account? Oh, very, it's very easy, actually. I mean, most of the times you will not have a long wait, but it is extremely uh, easy. Um, the other thing is we could, in, in the very, very near future, um, you'll be able to go online and open a savings account. So hey now. If, if you're, if you're, you know, if you're, uh, your, your schedule doesn't permit going into the branch during the normal banking hours, go online and, and, and apply uh, to open a savings account. But, you know, savings is, is extremely important, especially – uh, for those uh, times when, you know, stuff happens, right? Yes. You really need to and it always happens. happens. <laughs> and it always It always happens. Absolutely. But let me give you another thought uh, as, as we're talking about planning for the future mm-hmm. and saving and, and retirement uh, types of accounts. 
Um, don't forget to have a good insurance plan as well. Mm. One of the worst things that can happen is that something, a catastrophe, let's say a, a fire or a, you know, an accident or, or even death, and you are not properly insured. Mm -hmm. You know, um, with that, you know, if something like that happens and there is not an ability to have those expenses covered or the, that, that catastrophe covered with an insurance policy, it can wipe a family or an individual clean. And mm -hmm. so when, when we're talking about saving for uh, and preparing, I guess, uh, for the unknown, preparing for the future, insurance is an extremely important and critical component to uh, any any strategy. Insurance, I'm just like taking this all in. And also, I I know y'all at Liberty Bank like to help our community and like to give us all kind of tidbits because I don't know if all of our listeners know this, but I want you all to go on to libertybank.net. Go on to libertybank.net. And the fourth tab over is their resource center. They yeah. have all kinds of information up there. They have an e-financial portal, um, FDIC, Money Smart, Control Your Credit Score, financial calculator so you know before you even go in what you need to have um the home affordable modification program liberty financial wellness oh i saw that um <laughs> and liberty bank online education so they have all of these education tools that you can um that you can use without even needing to leave the comfort of your home and i really want everybody to understand these and use these because there's so many things that can help you. Like, let me just give you an example of some of the calculators. They have home financing, like should I ref should I refinance? Personal financing, how how much of a car loan can I afford? Um, investment, what's the yield on my portfolio? Retirement, which is better for me? Traditional IRA or Roth IRA and lease, how much can I afford in a lease? So they have all these different calculators that I think are really important, and it's you know it it it's it really goes to show how much Liberty Bank cares about our community to give us all of these little knickknacks that we can use yeah. to help ourselves, you know, go beyond, go beyond, go above and beyond. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, you know, I think that, and, and I'm so glad that you, you highlighted uh, the, that information that is on our website. There's so much, there's a lot of valuable uh, uh, stuff there, but a lot of times once you go there, you're going to have many more questions, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's where that personal touch that you're going to get from Liberty Bank comes into play. Um, you go online, you look up a topic, and you see uh, and kind of read and get a flavor for the, the information or just, you know, some insight to whatever it is you're, 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 you're interested in. And then contact us. Call us at, at uh, 240-5100. That's our customer care center. You call customer care say, listen, I am interested in talking to someone about refinancing my mortgage, or I am interested in talking to someone about opening a, an IRA or a retirement account or a savings account. And that, that customer care uh, representative will direct you to the appropriate person within Liberty Bank to help you uh, through the questions and then ultimately to either opening a savings or refinancing your mortgage. I know because, you know, sometimes it's it's a daunting process to go in a bank. You know, sometimes it's a little nerve wracking. So to be able to kind of get this information online at Liberty Bank and then to feel a little bit more comfortable and confident. So when we do call the customer service line, and can you give us that number one more time? Absolutely. It's area code 504 240 So that's 240 Two, area code 504-240-5100, 504-240-5100, so that you can get, you know, a handle on your savings needs, your um, personal f uh, financing, investment, retirement, leases, home financing. They have all kinds of stuff on here. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm like going through through here. <laughs> and this other one was with Emerge with Financial Wellness. I was like, oh, yeah. goodness. So, can you, you know, tell us I mean, about the that? Biggest thing, the biggest thing is, I think, um, is, just having someone to sit and talk with, mm -hmm. um, even if you're not ready, you know, to, mm -hmm. to open an account, a savings account, just to sit and talk to one of our financial professionals 
um, about what your thoughts are and what your, your dreams are. So if you're saying, I really, you know, we're getting ready to have a baby and we really want to begin to, to, to save not only for the birth of the baby, but, um, but for, you know, their, hopefully their education. Um, and a, 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 a Liberty Bank professional would be able to just sit with you and talk to you about your, your thoughts and your dreams and, and what, uh, what your options are, you know, and, and, some, and give you some solutions to some of the, the, the uh, ideas that, that, you know, you have going around in, in your head about saving and, and about your future. We have a lot of um, young people who come to us about wanting to buy their first home and, mm. you know, and so and being able to save towards that and, and what would it, will it take, you know. And so we, we sit and we talk with, with you know, people to, to uh, understand, you know, where they are with regards to the ability to purchase a home. Um, and then we give them a roadmap. Here, here are the things you need to do. You need to have X number of dollars you know, in hand, and here's how you can So you don't just there. leave us hanging. Oh, no, absolutely <laughs> not. Listen, but, you know, sometimes easy. people leave you hanging, but Liberty Bank, I've heard, does not leave you hanging, so I really no. wanted to put that out there. No, that that, that really is our hallmark. I mean, the, the thing that we absolutely love doing is developing that, I guess, that kinship or that one-on-one relationship with mm-hmm. our customers. Our customers become our friends in many cases, um, and when we can't help you in in every instance, it really is you know somewhat um, disappointing to us as well. But most times we try and find a way. We go out of our way to to, to try and work with our customers, um, build those relationships, build that trust um, on both ends, and 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 you know and try and find a way. To, to solve whatever uh, dilemma there is. Um, so, I, you know, it, it is, there are so many uh, uh, opportunities as it relates to saving and, 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 and preparing for your future, preparing for retirement, preparing for a big event, or preparing to purchase a home uh, that we can work with you, uh, with customers, in designing. Um, so it's best to just give us a call um, at, you know, 240 240- 5100, that kind of customer care uh, uh, center. They, of course, are very uh, knowledgeable professionals. They will take your call. They will, you know, hear what it is you, you're looking for and then direct you to the correct person. And I'm, I'm taking this all in right now, but I will say sometimes you have the people who are a little bit timid about giving them the call immediately. So I just pressed this little mortgage center button on LibertyBank.net, and there is a host of information here that can give you information about pre, pre-qualifying and applying for a loan. So you're able to ap- apply for a loan online now? Oh, absolutely. You can apply for your mortgage loan. Uh, online, you can apply for any any type of uh, consumer loan online, um, and and you can pre get pre qualified as well. And so, if you so you mean I'm skipping sure. in the bank all confident because I'm pre qualified? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it makes a difference. Yeah. You know, you go in there looking like, oh gosh, I got my paperwork, but I can do this online <laughs> first, and I can be pre qualified. Or if I Absolutely. do have questions. I, or if I do have questions, I can be like, okay, well, I wasn't pre-qualified, so then I know what questions to ask when I do call Absolutely. y'all. Well, what happens is you'll go online to get pre-qualified, and then within 24 hours, one of our mortgage representatives should give you a call back. Oh, okay. Say, listen, we, we received your application or your pre-qualification, and we'll walk you and talk you through uh, the rest of the uh, process. Okay, so now I feel better. So even yeah, if even if I don't pre-qualify, you will you will say, okay, well these are the steps that you need to absolutely. take so that you can qualify. Absolutely, and that really again is is our hallmark. We, I mean, we, we again last week when we talked, we talked about just that you know we are your neighbors, we're your friends, we you know we we you know we're at uh, service day on Saturday together. I mean, right, you know, we're, right. we're in the community, so and we're about the community, and so and that's not just you know one person in Liberty Bank. That that is, that is the makeup of our entire uh, employee base. They're they're willing and love to uh, to work 
and be a part of, of the community. And so, you know, for us, it's not just your number, your, you know, net. Um, for us, it truly is that when you walk into those offices and when you, you, you work with uh, one of our, our, our branch managers, our, part of our sales team, our commercial lenders, our mortgage representatives, um, they are very much um, uh, excited about, uh, you know, developing the relationship and, and, and helping you through whatever um, issue, I guess, that you may have. It, it really is a different uh, kind of bank and a different type of relationship than what you'll find at some of the big boys. Well, that is what makes Liberty Bank so special, and that's what makes you near and dear to my heart. So I, <laughs> I'm i serious, because trust me, I, I, look, I've gone in there and made calls to Gretchen while I was driving back from Baton Rouge, and I was like, Gretchen, I need help with this. And she's like, okay, let me do it. And she did it online. I was like, oh, my gosh, thank you, because the bank was going to close. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, having yeah. that relationship with Liberty Bank has really made a difference for me, and I know it'll make a difference for you. So if you're looking to open, um, open a new account, you know, looking for a loan, looking for anything, give them a call at 504. 504- 2405100 5042405100 or find them at libertybank.net again libertybank.net online thank you Ann, so much i know you'll be with us next week as well absolutely thank you and y'all have a great day today we will and when we get back we're going to be back on the line with Kenneth Barnes our financial advisor to find out how we can all become millionaires so stay tuned this is Eileen this is the good life and it's money monday Listen to the New Orleans Imperative, the only radio show in New Orleans that focuses on public education. Every Monday, 10 a.m., listen in, hear the real news, the New Orleans Imperative. Hello? I need help. My hair is a mess and my man texts me telling me to be ready for eight. He has a surprise. What am I going to do? My stylist takes forever. I got you. Call Ringlet Salon. I just left there. Where? Ringlet Salon. They took me within minutes and had me in and out in no time. Very professional and I scheduled online at ringlets.com. For real? Girl, for real. Does Ringlet Salon hook up your roots? Looks like I got a perm and you know I'm anti-chemicals. Ringlet Salon has my hair soft and bouncy. I'm getting the Brazilian blowout express next week it eliminates frizz for six weeks six weeks okay i'm all about ringlet salon where are they located ringlets has two locations one at 4712 paris avenue and one in the hilton hotel on the river that location validates parking for four hours and is open on sunday perfect for a working woman like me that's all i needed to know i'm gonna be fresh for my man you will if you schedule your appointment at ringlets.com that's r-i-n-g-l-e-t-t-s dot Bye. Go and make my appointment with Ringlet Salon now. So hot and hot. AC not cooling? Unit needs to be serviced, charged, or replaced? Don't fret. Call Louisiana HVAC. That's 504-410-4781. Louisiana HVAC is committed to providing quality and dependable service to our customers. Our company is locally owned and family operated. Louisiana HVAC has been servicing the state of Louisiana since 2006. We have 20 years of experience in the AC and heating industry. We install, service, repair, and retrofit commercial and residential heating and cooling units. Call Louisiana HVAC. That's 504-410-4781. Receive $25 off service maintenance when you mention that you heard us on WBOK 1230 AM. That's Louisiana HVAC. 504-410-4781. You're on the move and so is your bank. Liberty Bank now offers you the power to manage your money from the palm of your hand with mobile banking with Liberty Bank. Whether you need to check balances, transfer money, or view transactions, mobile banking at Liberty Bank allows convenient and secure access to your money. Enroll today at www.LibertyBank.net and download our mobile app. You can mobile bank at Liberty Bank to keep the power in your hands. Liberty Bank, there's freedom here. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. 
Renting a car can be an easy thing at A Priority One Rent-A-Car. A Priority One Rent-A-Car, now servicing the New Orleans metro area, is your neighborhood rent-a-car company. Conveniently located at 209 South Broad Street, our goal is to save you money on your rental. A Priority One Rent-A-Car offers daily, weekly, and weekend specials. Our rental rates are inexpensive, starting as low as $30 per day. We accept debit cards, credit cards, and cash deposits. At A Priority One Rent-A-Car, we strive to be a better rent-a-car company with low rates, making it convenient to do business with us. We provide great cars and great service. So phone A Priority One at 504-827-2900 to make your reservations today. Save time and save money. Call 504-827-2900. Why pay more at some of the other rental car companies when you can pay less at A Priority One Rental Car? Personal car insurance is required. Listen now to WBOK Live on your computer. It's easy. Just go to www.wbok1230am.com and click the Listen Live button. WBOK 1230 AM. Real talk for real times. Welcome to the good life. Oh. Welcome to the good life. The wait is over. The wait is over. We are back. This is Eileen, and this is The Good Life. We are here on Money Monday, and we are going to tell you how to become a millionaire. I was le- um, reading in businessinsider.com, and they had this article about how to become a millionaire by age 30 if they were starting at 20. And I was like, hmm, this sounds like a, an article I need to read. So, Kenneth, I, I, I sat there, and I was like, let me dig into this topic because they say getting rich and becoming a millionaire is a taboo topic. Saying it can be done by the age of 30 seems like a fantasy, but it shouldn't be a taboo, and it is possible. This young guy at the age of 21 got out of college, broke and in debt, and by the time he was 30 was a millionaire. So I was like, if he could start it, he can do it in nine years. Why can't we all do it in nine years, right? So, you know, we're going to go through, right, Kenneth? I was like, you know, if he can do it from broke to a zero to 100 real quick, we can do it, too. And it's <laughs> right. So we're going to go through the 10 steps that, you know, helped him become a millionaire. You know, and it's really just being smart with your money and sometimes getting somebody like Kenneth, because I am by no means a financial whiz. So I surround myself who, with people who are smarter than me. So I need to surround myself with people who are smarter than me with money. And Kenneth is one of those people. So here are some of the, the steps. And number one was follow the money. What, isn't this a theme for today? about following the money his number one step was following the money and we've been talking about saving today but in today's economic environment you cannot just save your way to millionaire status so the first step is focusing on increasing your income in increments and repeat that so kenneth what do you think about number one step that is key in every business following the money every business has to do that if not they fall off i don't care how great they were how big they've been in business for a long time. Let's look at Burger King, for example. Mm-hmm. Things have changed over the years, hasn't it? it? Well, yeah, it has. It absolutely has. So, it, so once you begin to follow the money, you want to always follow the money to keep your edge and stay in there. Because, see, once you become a millionaire, the next thing you want to be able to do is not only grow from the million to two, but you want to make sure you don't go backwards as well. I want to go to 10, 15, 20. <laughs> that was the good life. And so the first step is focusing on increasing your income in increments and repeating that and repeating that and repeating that and never really letting that get lax. So we want to focus on ways that we can, you know, increase our income. Um, one, one of the things he said was his income was $3,000 a month. And nine years later, it was $20,000 a month. I was like, hey, now he said, start following the money and it will force you to control revenue and see different opportunities. So number two was don't show off show up. Well, that's what we talk about with those Jordans, huh? He's like, I didn't buy my first luxury watch or car until my businesses and investments were producing multiple secure flows of income. Let me repeat that. I didn't buy my first luxury watch or car until my businesses and investments were producing multiple, multiple secure, secure is the word there, flows of income. I was still driving a Toyota Camry, but when I became a millionaire, but be known for your work ethic, not the trinkets that you buy. So that was number too. I leave that is so powerful. At the end of the day, that's the difference between uh, wealth minded and someone who uh, is really uh, mediocre in their thinking. Because so often when people get a little money, and it has to be a million, just a little bit of money, they want to ball. And, they, and, and Mark Cuban says it all the time, you have to crawl before you ball. But before you ball, you have to make sure that you're balling on 
investment surplus income, mm. not your because let's take the million dollars for example. You take that same million dollars, and the person with the wrong mentality is going to buy a five hundred thousand dollar, four hundred thousand dollar house, a hundred thousand dollar car, probably two or three of them, and forgot that they had to pay taxes on that million. So when they come in to collect the money, now we're back at square zero and can't pay the property taxes or get the all change on that hundred thousand dollar car. Kenneth, that that million went real quick. (laughs) That million just, you broke that down real quick and it was gone. So this is what we're saying by number three. Save to invest. Don't save to save. The only reason to save money is to invest it. Put your saved money into secured, sacred, untouchable accounts. Never use these accounts for anything, not even an emergency. What? This will force you to continue to follow step one, which is increase your income. To this day, at least twice a year, I am broke because I always invest my surpluses into ventures I cannot access. That was That's so right. interesting to me. He continues to invest his money so that he lives off of the interest and he puts it in in places where he cannot touch it. Literally cannot touch it. That's exactly right, because you have to protect yourself from yourself, and we have to be honest with ourselves. If we know we're not as disciplined as we should be, we have to be honest with ourselves. Put the money away uh, and act like you don't even have it, like it don't even exist. Don't even factor it into your day-to-day. And that's funny. It's it's something that you said in one of the, the Wealth Challenge weeks about, you know, getting um, having a direct withdrawal. And you could direct withdrawal into maybe a money market, right? That's right. Or, Absolutely. Or you know, I'm look, I'm learning from you. So it could be anything else, but look, that's that's one of the ones that's one of the things I remembered and don't get a don't get a card <laughs> attached to the account. So you can have that's a right. direct direct withdrawal of 25, 50, 100 dollars, whatever you can do. Have it go to a money market account and then don't have a card attached to it and watch that money grow over the years. Don't touch it. Do not touch it. Number four, um, avoid debt that doesn't pay you. And this was really interesting to me. So I was reading and it said, make a rule that you never use debt that won't make you money. I was like, huh? I said, I bo- he said, I borrowed money for a car only because I knew it could increase my income. Rich people use debt to leverage investments and grow cash flows. Poor people use debt to buy things that make rich people richer. I was like, ouch. Y'all want me to read that one more time? He said, I- rich People use debt to leverage investments and grow cash flows. Poor people use debt to buy things that make rich people richer. Wow. That- it, it hurts to hear that. I and mean, this is why we do what we do, Eileen, because we're trying to change that uh, and change the community, change the world with that very number four right there. I was like, if that doesn't say it all. <laughs> so I'm going to put these up on my social media on The Good Life and Being Eileen C. So follow me on social media, The Good Life Radio Show and Being Eileen C. And I'll put these tips up there for you. Um, number five, treat money like a jealous lover. I was like, we could all do that. We've all had that moment, right? Millions wish for financial freedom, but only those that make it a priority have millions. To get rich and stay rich, you will have to make it a priority. Money is like a jealous lover. Ignore it, and it will ignore you, or worse, it will leave you for someone who makes it a priority. Money is a jealous lover. It's the truth. They say ignore it, and it will ignore you, or worse, it will leave you for someone who makes it a priority. Make it a priority. That is so true. And you know what? When it comes down to money, I want to make sure we talk about that a little bit deeper because it, it, it's money physically, but really it's money uh, uh, in reality. For example, if you have a job right now that you don't appreciate, that new candidate that's hungry and had their resume in, in, in the inbox of your the manager, that's what they talk about money leaving you. Same thing if you're a business owner. If you don't value that com- that client and take them for granted at times, mm-hmm. they'll go to the competition. They will. And that's what they're talking about as well. Uh-oh. So make sure that y'all, you know, treat – Treat your money like a jealous lover and treat, you know, everything that's important like that. You know, pay attention to different aspects of your life because it's very important. Number six, money doesn't sleep. Money doesn't know about clocks, schedules, or holidays, and you shouldn't either. Money loves people that have a great work ethic. When he was 26 years old, he was in retail, and the store work the, the, the store he worked for closed at 7 p.m. Most times he said you could find him there until 11 p.m., making an extra sale. Never try to be the smartest or luckiest person. Just make sure you outwork 
everyone. So that was one that I thought that was very interesting. Money doesn't sleep, outwork everyone. You know what, Eileen, that's so key because that's not a, a mediocre mindset. That's a above and beyond mindset. So a lot of times you may even, and most of us even maybe have coworkers or know people that's like, well, that's not my job. Right. That's good enough. They don't pay me enough for that. Right. Trust me, he's not talking about that mentality, and, that, and that's one thing we want to change. You need to be the first one in there, last one there, and I'll work everyone. And I can promise you money will come. Just don't go blow it immediately once you get it, but money will come with that kind of mentality. So number seven, I, I, I think a lot of people can agree with this one. Poor makes no sense. He said, I have been poor and it sucks. I was like that. Well, that kind of sums it up. He's like, I have, right? He's like, I've been poor and it sucks. I think we can all agree with that. I have had just enough and that sucks almost as badly. Eliminate any and all ideas that being poor is somehow okay. He said, Bill Gates has said, if you're born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it is your mistake. Do y'all want wow. me to, y'all want me to repeat that one more time? Bill Gates has said, if you're born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it is your mistake. So what you going to do about it? Eileen, you, we hit it right there a few minutes ago early in the program. We talked about most of these millionaires are not wealth families. These are first-generation millionaires, and, right. and all of us have that opportunity starting today. Absolutely. So we will all love number eight because, you know, Sometimes you just don't know because, and what do we say at The Good Life? The only difference between all of us is exposure. So number eight, everybody can, everybody can join, jump on this. Get a millionaire mentor. Most of us were brought up middle class or poor and then hold ourselves to the limits and ideas of that group. He said he's been studying, studying mil- millionaires to duplicate what they did. So get your own personal millionaire mentor and study them. He said most rich people are extremely generous with their knowledge and their resources. So go get a buddy. And why not get a buddy that makes some money? <laughs> you know? Eileen, let me go ahead and re- uh, respond to that. It's 504 <laughs> 577 nine. I'll say that very humbly. 504 577 Four one three nine. Look, we're we're offering it to you. Look, Kenneth has turned his life, and he'll he'll tell you himself. You did it from zero to a hundred, right? And so, That's why exactly not right. learn from him? He's offering these tools. He's done it, and so why reinvent the wheel? If he knows how to do it, look, I'm a, I'm gonna stick with you, and, and I'm gonna live the good life too. So we're all gonna live the good life because we're creating generational wealth on this show. That's what it's about. Because the only thing that Matt, the only thing that people respect is your mind and your money. And we're gonna get them both correct on the good life. Um, number nine, get your money to do the heavy lifting. Investing is the holy grail in becoming a millionaire, and you should make more money off of your investments than your your work. Let me say that again. You should make more money off your investments than your work. If you don't have surplus money, you won't make investments. The second company that he started required a $50,000 investment. That company has paid him back $50,000 every month for the past 10 years. That's right. Did I say that? That company paid him back $50,000 every month for the last 10 years. So it may seem like a large investment in the beginning, but what it pays back in the long haul is so tremendous that it doesn't even compare. So we want to make sure that our money is doing the heavy lifting and that we're investing. And last, you're right on the money with that. And you know what? This is reading this got me. I'm, when I got this phone line today off this radio, <laughs> I think I'm about to go make an investment. Got Look, I inspired you, aggressive. right? I'm trying. Well, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to inspire everybody. And last but not least, before we go out, shoot for 10 million, not 1 million. The single biggest financial mistake that he said he's made was not thinking big enough. And he encourages everyone to go for more than that, just that 1 million. There's no shortage of money on this planet. Only a shortage of people thinking big enough. And I want to say that again because that is really one of the things that we like to or I like to really, you know, uh, stick in people's head. If I could stick something in people's head, there is no shortage of money on this planet. Only a shortage of people thinking big enough. There is enough for everyone. This planet has enough for everyone. What I want is not what you want. There is enough for everyone. But you have to think big and ask, believe, receive. We got to do it because that's the only way that we're all going to live the good life. Got to do it, y'all. Got to do it. This article should be read twice a day, once in the morning <laughs> and once at night before you go to sleep. I can. This is this is that powerful that it should be read twice a day minimally. 
Well, hopefully when people apply these 10 steps, they will get rich and they will live the good life and build generational wealth because that's what we want to do. I'm going to post this article online. It will be the Good Life Radio Show, Being Eileen C. and Eileen Carter on Facebook. It will be on Twitter, um, the Good Life Radio Show, and Being Eileen C. So make sure you follow me there, and I will post this article. It is How to Become a Millionaire by Age 30. And you can start any day, just like we were talking about savings. Start today, and you can change your life. He did this in nine years. We can do it, too. And you know, at this time of day, I always get hungry, on, um, and I like to figure out what I'm going to eat. But y'all already know what I'm going to eat, because I'm going to go eat Neos. And their Monday specials today are red beans and jambalaya, both $8. And Kenneth will agree that that is in the budget. Served with fried chicken, grilled pork chop, or hot sausage, or if you want to add a breaded pork chop, white meat, or fish, it's only a dollar, y'all. Eight or nine dollars, it's in the budget. Kenneth, will you approve of that? I totally approve and bring someone who could be a potential business partner with you and go eat with them and discuss your next investment. There you go. Bring your millionaire mentor. Take take Kenneth to lunch day at, at Neo's Monday Money Specials, Red Beans and Jambalaya at 3340 Bienville, y'all. 3340 Bienville. I'll see y'all there and I'll see y'all tomorrow for Relationship Tuesday. This is Eileen and I'm out.